Our crawfish tank. Hey, mama. And number 10. You know, pigs, I don't blame any of you for mudding right now. These I will be buying because they're the best. They're very sturdy. This is the smaller one, so we'll start off with him. Wow! God, I didn't know it was snapping turtles. Move up. Oh my! I'm gonna plug in the filter in three, two, one. Ooh. What is going on, Cafreros? Welcome back to another video here. We have a filter with a UV on it and a pump right here and also a giant tub. The other day I found this at a feed store and I had to buy it. I could literally stand in this and I'm 6'1", so yeah, it's big. This one, on the other hand, is huge. What do you think, Brenton? 100% the smaller one. That one is like <laughs> it's, massive. It's too big, there's dude. There's no way to get that home. No, there's no way. They're, actually, you're right. I didn't even think of that. How much is this? $363. Oh, thank goodness today's video is sponsored. Today's video is sponsored by Ants Underground Kingdom. You get to build your very own ant empire by growing the ant colony, breeding and training your ant armies, customizing ant queens, exploring dangerous surroundings, and hatching unique and powerful species of ants. But the thing is, players must strategize between harvesting natural resources and developing their own ant kingdom to fend off the challenging and sneaky predators to become the ultimate underground ruler of Mother Nature itself. This is the world's very first ant colony simulation strategy mobile game. Immerse yourself in hyper-realistic recreations of ant colonies, insect natural habitat, and hundreds of insect design. Collect natural resources and strategize the best way to expand your ant kingdom. Build and train your most powerful ant army to conquer the forest and grow your very own insect empire. You can breed and hatch different ant classes. You can unlock special ant species and upgrade your ant hill. I'm literally customizing my ants right now and the colony with unique and beautifully designed skins. Now I'm telling you, Kaferos, the Ants Underground is a super fun and very easy to play game. Right now, you can join myself and 30 million other players worldwide to build ant colony alliances, compete for resources, and conquer the global insect kingdom together. The Ants Underground Kingdom is celebrating its first anniversary. Celebrate its birthday by receiving awesome free rewards and resources. Join now and prepare for the first ant season coming in April. Players will get to see a newly upgraded battlefield and unlock exclusive championship experiences. 12 new limited edition special ants are being released to help your army get season rewards and bring you and your alliance to the top of the kingdom. Ever since I started playing this game, I've like thought of Ampio so much more differently. I know it's crazy for me to say, but it's actually super, super cool. Ants Underground Kingdom is both available on iOS and Android. So either one, go to the links down below, click it, and play some Ants Underground Kingdom for yourself. You guys gotta check this game out. It's awesome. Go download it. Ants Underground Kingdom. Thanks so much for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. We're back, but before we get to building this pond just yet, I stopped by the fish room, and in one of my last videos, I let you guys know that we were getting all the tanks cleaned and everything, and the place looks amazing. So I just wanted to quickly go over there, let's update you on everything in the fish room, and I'm gonna hop here and start the build. Woo, this is the cleanest I have ever seen this fish room. We have just got to the fish room, and the tanks look gorgeous. Look at the axolotl, he's just chilling. I've got the light on right now to give you guys the dopest look. He's hiding in all his bushes. Let's get the lights on in the salt water. Jeez! What's up, buddy? What's going on? You hungry? I know you are. We got Jacques. Hey, buddy. The 1,000 gallon is full to the brim. He brought in a lot of RO water. Cichlid tank, fully cleaned out. All the fish look super healthy. Our flower horn looks beautiful. All lit up right now. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's hanging out with his Pleco friends. Our crawfish tank. Hey, Mama. Mama Craw and Papa Craw is, I think, what I'm gonna name them. Papa Craw is obviously over here with his son. Papa Crawfish is always hiding from us. You can see him in the back. And then Baby Craw is inside the sushi bar. I mean, it just looks lit up in here. We're full on RO water. The tank room looks amazing, and I can't wait to once again give it a nice upgrade. 1,400 square feet. This building we have in the works is going to be huge. I gotta feed the fish real quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Are you ready, cichlids? I know you're ready. Eat up. Oh, I never get these guys on video while they're eating. Look at the little babies. There's little babies coming out of the rocks. Look at them, look how tiny that one is. There's babies everywhere in this fish room. And that is your daily update of the fish room. Oh, I didn't turn the light off. One sec. Now we're good. Like this sucker growing big next to that pond would be kind of cool. And it has a bunch of little baby ones coming up 
and those will grow and hang over the pond, which then creates shade and it looks like a jungle. I think we should get this giant one. Yeah, look at this thing. It's about a sprout. That we put plants in front of the pond covering the front. Might need like eight of them. These right here. Perfect. 15 buckaroos each. How many do you think we'll need to go around the front? Yeah, I'm trying to like picture it in my head. I'm just gonna say 10 and we can always put it somewhere else. The more the merrier, because guess what? When you don't buy enough, you gotta drive back and get more. So you might as well just get how many you think we're gonna need. This is a nice one. Nice and bushy. So my vision is to have these up front, in front of the pond to kind of cover the tub, of course. Have this off to the side and have these behind the pond so that everything just grows right over this pond and then obviously I can keep the hedges up front, these guys trimmed up. And number 10 is on the cart. 10 little hedges and all the bigger plants over here. We're good to go. Now let's check out and see what the damage is. Oh. Probably shouldn't have done that right there. I was gonna say that because <laughs> of the fact that the door is right there, but. Sometimes, you know, we just don't think things through. But it's fine. It's only soil. I, I think it'll help the grass grow. One of them is in. They're, they're tinier than I thought, but they are gonna grow. All right, now let's put these little hedge line that I want up front to kind of cover the bin a little bit. Yeah, where we think we want it. Thank gosh we got 10. Now we can make it nice and tight. Oh, that's actually perfect. Now picture those in the ground so the hedges won't be like higher than the pond. But it's hiding the pond now. It doesn't look like it's just sitting on the ground. These are obviously gonna get a heck of a lot bigger as well, like I said before. I just wanted this tub to look naturally placed there. And then we have this big one. This is my older brother Joey, by the way. I didn't exactly uh, introduce him. <laughs> we got this big old out uh, to go right in the corner. That looks pretty good. Yes, Terry, what does it feel like temperature outside? Currently feels like 91 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> but check it out. Now that is without any sort of interior work. See that piece of wood right there? I want to put that in it. That way it's a natural basking area. They get to like climb up on it. And don't forget how many plants we have for the inside of this pond as well. <laughs> An hour later, last one. How good a shower is gonna feel? Oh, I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> so that is what we're working with after about an hour and a half of landscape. As you can see, this right here, I'm gonna get sod and then put sod up to the pond just because we had so much dirt to do in landscape, but I did rake it flat. Our elephant here is gonna get much bigger. You have to think everything here is going to grow and then I'll trim it to what I want. So although you can see the tub right here right now, you won't see that once the hedges grow and then I cut them like that even. I've wanted to do this project for a bit now and I cannot wait until we get these snapping turtles into there. Next step though, is to get to this piece of wood trimmed to the correct size so that we can place it right into the pond and this is what they'll be able to bask on. You know pigs, I don't blame any of you for mudding right now. And then with just a little bit of alakazam, you just comes right off. My uh, science teacher taught me how to do that. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mrs. Whippard. Definitely wasn't her name. <laughs> so now this trimmed up should fit right into here perfectly. Will this work? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Yes or no. It fit, but it's too high. I gotta cut bottom stuff off. If I had a chainsaw, this thing went right through. All right, update. It's been a couple hours. I've showered since, and I've now gotten back to work without filming. My hose didn't reach, so I calculated the length, and I got it down pat. My hose reached to about right here. So I stacked a four by four, a little piece of the stuff we shaved off, put it into the leftover filter tube. The filter tube then runs all the way to here, where it just barely reached the pond. And then I got another four by four, stacked that up, put a PVC, and the PVC runs down and starts putting water in the pond. So we're gonna let this pond fill up and then plug it all in. Look, I've got all the outlets, 
Everything drilled up, ready to go. I got a cement thing there to put a plant on. Whew, this has been an absolute mission, Caferos. If you're enjoying this video so far and you think this looks good right here, smash that like button. I'm gonna plug in the filter in three, two, one. Dude, that is so sick. Look at this. It's got good water flow too because the pump I got was big. And since it's a round tub, it'll actually circulate perfectly fine. That pump in there is 2,900 gallons per hour. It looks so sick. And guess what we got in the back of the truck right here? Water plants. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't know. What are we doing? What are we doing? 100% leaving with some lily pads. That's a fact. The snapping turtles are most likely going to eat them. I'm 99% sure, but it's worth a go. These are really nice, too. These are these are super nice. Nice big leaves. I want to get stuff like this, too, because it's super, super nice. But then again, I, I think like they're going to walk all over something that's low like that. It'd almost be useless for me to buy anything like that. These I will be buying because they're the best. They're very sturdy and they also grow like weeds. So we'll probably get some of these. Pickerel is what the, the plant is called, pickerel. Look at this pond, this is sick. I remember years ago I would come to this pond, it was not grown like this. I actually housed my koi fish in this pond for a couple months, like three years ago, while I was rebuilding other ponds. It's like untangling fishing line and getting these things out of here, huh? Yeah, except fishing line doesn't break that easy. You're right. <laughs> that one's nice and thick. Look at the flowers coming. So we got one lily, we have both of these. I got the bigger one of this. I don't I don't know what this is called. Here we go, we got the name right here. Grows 48 to 72 inches tall. Good to go. All right, successful plant mission. See you back at the crib. The water is dark because we just put all the plants in here. We still have one last plant to go in. I got you guys a new house. He wants to bite the heck out of me right now. Same with the one in the bucket. So I've had these since they were the size of literally quarters. This is the smaller one, so we'll start off with him or her. Not exactly sure, actually. I'm gonna put him right up top of his new house. Ah! All right, he went in. Wow! God, I didn't know snapping turtles move. Up. Oh my God, he bit the camera. I did not know they had reach like that. This thing is aggressive. He turns like an alligator. Hey, hey, whoa! Hey, stay there. Stay there. Ah! Oh my god. Mia, do not get. You're gonna get bit. All right. And there goes the second one. He's right there into the depths. Sheesh. That was dangerous. That was sketchy. Look at this pond. Although it's dirty, I can guarantee you by morning, aka next video, you will see this thing clear, crystal clear, because the filter is powerful. Look at that thing. Coming through all the bushes back there, these are all gonna grow. And I'll be quite honest, even if this doesn't clear up totally, I wouldn't mind because they're snapping turtles and they don't really need to be in crystal clear water. Although it'd be cool, I wouldn't care. I wanted to get them something dope and I think this is just that. It came out amazing. It's been a while since I've done a little project like this. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below if you are new. Check out the PC merch, top link in the description and I will see you right back here in that next one.